Hi kids, I'm Super K and the word saves the day. What's that I hear? Joshua, don't be afraid. Look at all these fish. Whoa. So guess what happens next? It's a white boat. Who else is here? All you need is water, some food coloring, and Red some bleach. Not. No, but you don't understand. My cows, my kids, even my mean wife. Have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. Passionate, powerful, and prophetic. New designs now available. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome our Revive Nations TV family. We want to thank God for what he is doing. I'm so excited that we are able to greet you through this medium and welcome you to a new year. Oh, God has been so good to us in 2022. The enemy tried to fight you and come against you and destroy you. But the good news is, child of God, you are still found standing. The enemy tried to swift you like wheat. But the grace of the Lord and the mercy of the Lord and the favor of the Lord has located you and you have survived the onslaughts of the enemy. Child of God, if God allowed you to survive 2022, it is for a reason. It is so that you may have great victory in 2023. This is your season of your promised land. God is taking you into the places that he promised. What God promised in 2022, what has yet to be manifested in 2022, you are about to see that in 2023. So as you hear this word, may the eyes of the Lord locate you. May the presence of God fill your house. May the peace of God fill your heart. Child of God, it is well. Prophetically, I'm hearing and I declare as I sense from the Lord, it is well. Somebody that is listening to me needs to hear this word. It shall come to pass. The heart of God shall come to pass. The promises of God shall come to pass. The prophecies that you hear it shall come to pass. The Lord is a good God. He is a faithful God and he will see you through. Oh, this word is going to abundantly bless you, give you direction and instructions for the days to come. Enjoy. God bless. Heavenly Father, we thank you for one more night under the cloud. We thank you for open heaven. We thank you for your nearness. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the unction. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the signs. Thank you for the wonders. Thank you for the prophetic. Thank you for your spoken words. Thank you for the revelations. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for the energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead, clap your hands and thank you. We want to welcome all the precious people watching from home. We want to greet them in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Today is your time for your face to glow. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The beloved of the Lord shout a hallelujah. I want you to keep eating and drinking from the cup in the hands of the Lord Jesus. 
and he shall fulfill the desires of your heart yes that is what the bible says the bible says that if we desire there's a desire psalm 37 verse 4 it says delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart delight yourself in the lord when your delight is in the lord and every time your delight is not in the lord you begin to lose focus and the lack of focus will begin to cause cracks and every failure in your life can be traced back into a divided focus in your life every failure in your life can be traced back to a divided focus but when your focus is glued and it is on the lord jesus then it is now that you have truly begin to delight in him your delight can be proved by where your focus is your delight can be proved by where your focus is where your attention is where your heart is where your commitment is and when you begin to focus on one thing exclusively it is because now you take great delight in that thing that is why young people when they are addicted to something that addiction is a sign of great delight that addiction to that one thing is a sign of great delight the addiction so if you will locate where your addiction is you have located your great delight if you were partying they would not criticize you if you were with your friends and you were the social butterfly making everybody happy they would say what a nice person it is but when you focus on one person that is the lord jesus immediately the world thinks you're weird they cannot fathom that an individual can take all this time and put it in one place they cannot fathom that an individual can take all this time and energy and dedicate it to one place such is a generation we live in second chronicles chapter 16 verse 9 i want you to i want you to remember this verse okay for the eyes of the lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth ah and as soon as i said that the glory of god just increased to give strong support to those whose heart is blameless toward him okay this is a very powerful statement this is the characteristic of the god you serve look at a neighbor and tell them you need to know the characteristic of the god you serve okay nlt says the eyes of the lord search the whole earth eyes of the lord search the whole earth the whole earth so the eyes of the lord is searching 
some some translation says search the whole earth the eyes of the lord search esv says the eyes of the lord is running to and fro constantly 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 the eyes of the lord roams the eyes of the lord moving to and fro yes 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 another version says the eyes of the lord gazes all through the earth contemporary version says the lord is constantly watching everyone oh my goodness my god knows god's word translation says the lord's eyes scan the whole earth what is it saying in other words you have to understand the nature of the god that you serve he's constantly looking for who in this generation i can show myself strong this is this is this is what the verse says for the eyes of the lord runs to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him daddy is waiting to show himself strong on your behalf The Lord's eyes is searching left to right, right to left. He's constantly looking to see if his eyes will lock gaze with somebody that is focused on him, that delights in him. So that now it is through this individual that he is going to show himself strong it is through this individual that the lord will now and so now come on dear my goodness something is happening tonight something amazing is happening tonight the eyes of the lord is searching to and fro So when the eyes of the Lord is searching to and fro let's say it's starting from this side and the eyes of the Lord is searching 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 when the eyes of the Lord reaches where you are what does the eyes of the Lord catch you doing The eyes of the Lord is constantly searching you. Is constantly searching the world. When the eyes of the Lord locks gaze with you. Locks gaze with what? With you. What will the eyes of the Lord catch you doing? That will determine who you will be. <sighs> in your generation one more time as i'm speaking the spirit of god is holding somebody and i see the lord wrestling with somebody the glory of god is already being released upon so many people even at home I command your spirit to wake up from slumber and begin to respond to the heart of god my god my god my god la da da there's great bright light here 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 the spirit of the lord is catching somebody the spirit of the lord rakamana sete brogoza the spirit of the lord was gazing to and fro and one in a generation his eyes met with Ezekiel great light great light is locating you today the service is happening the eyes of the lord is going to and fro when the eyes of the lord reach you what does it 
catch you doing is the eyes of the lord catching you distracted is the eyes of the lord catching you delighting in something else is the eyes of the lord finding that your body has been spent out with everything else that when you are in his presence you have no energy left to give to him your attention has been spent so much in the world that finally when you are at his feet you have no attention to give to him the reason why you are at his feet and you are distracted is because you have spent giving away all your attention to the world so now when you are at his feet you are so tired that you don't have energy to lock your gaze with him and yet jesus will come and ask the disciples that are tired could you not pray for an hour and he's telling them your spirit is willing but your flesh is weak the question is why is your flesh weak Why is your flesh weak that you cannot pursue the Lord the way you are supposed to do in this generation why is your flesh weak who has taken the strength of your youth who has taken the strength of your gaze that now finally when you are at his feet you bring a crippled offering to the Lord when you see the lord touching your heart would you not hold back and just hug him just love him just let him do what he's doing wipe his feet with your tears <sighs> find rest in this season you are under the cloud Don't allow your anxiety to take away the gaze that is supposed to be on the Lord. Don't allow the enemy to steal your gaze. Don't allow the world to steal your strength so that now you are in the presence of the Lord and you are depleted. in the in the moment when you have to give your best you have the least in the moment when you're supposed to be most fresh you're least fresh because all day the world took your best let that culture change house in the name of jesus Why must you work hard for your company and give peanuts to the Lord? This is not the season for it. This is not you you will give your best to the presence of the Lord. You will give your best worship. You will give your best part of your mind. You will give your best attitude in the presence of God. You will give the best of your strength. You will give your best of your worship, your best of your money, your best of everything. Something is happening to your dear name. I said something is happening to your dear name. The more we stay at his feet the word of god that is coming to you is disconnecting you from every limitation of your natural dna break 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 every sickness in your dna break every pain in your bones be healed and and aba Listen. Listen, 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 listen. Now I need to teach you to receive it in the glory. 
wherever you are whatever healing you need i want you to open your mouth and begin to say my dna my corrupted dna is being transformed by the fire of the holy spirit by the baptism of the holy spirit start talking to your dna if your mother had arthritis begin to cancel arthritis now today certain sicknesses are being cancelled in the mighty name zambroko zanta manta tata cancel 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 open your mouth and release the fire of god on your dna ze 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 rete braka rate brekese marondo braka membrendo loko mambrese ke in the name of jesus speak to your bones speak to your spine speak to your hair speak to your ears in the name of jesus <laughs> woo woo celebrate 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 strange things are happening tonight oh i said strange things are happening tonight you do not expect tonight to be a deliverance night but deliverances are taking place dara 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 you and your children will rejoice you and your children shall be blessed you and your house shall enjoy the rain of the cloud and there shall be water in the desert rante ka montana masita ranto baba there shall be vegetation where they said that there will be never any vegetation where they said there was there shall be famine there shall be rivers that will flow this is the lord's doing and he shall complete what he has begun tonight in the name of jesus you are the children of the cloud the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night and you are the children of fire could it be possible that you can be the children of the cloud and the children of the fire yes, yes, yes. Yes. the enemies would look from a distance as these peculiar people would journey through the desert and they would say what kind of magic is this that they have a cloud by day and a fire by night and things that entered into your father's house it shall not enter into your house welcome back welcome back welcome back i hope that blessed you take a minute to locate this word on our channels you should find it on the got tv app you should find it on our youtube channel make sure to spread the word let someone know and bless them with this word may the grace of god continue to flow into your house stay in the presence of god stay in the grace of god child of god prayer 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 still works prayer still works may the eyes of god look at you again do not give up on prayer do not give up on trusting the lord do not give up on loving jesus let us love the lord this year in an unprecedented way thank you for allowing us to come to your house through this medium thank you for taking time to let us know where you're watching us from we really appreciate that thank you for your financial partnership thank you for your gifts oh people of god if the lord leads you if you've never done that before take a minute to go on our website and support this ministry so that we can keep coming to you with the word of the lord and i pray this year as you do that may the grace of god locate you may the lord bless you may you have no needs whatsoever may your finances overflow
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, locate your children today, I pray. Thank you so much. Follow us on our social media and we look forward to connecting with you again next week, the same time on the same channel. God bless and shalom. Many of us love Jesus by our words, Facebook posts and scripture quotes. But when God wanted to show us how much he loved us, he gave up his only begotten son. He is not looking for part-time Christians, nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because he gave us everything. Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 